वेलकम गई सो दिस इज रियली अ गुड सेट दैट टेस्ट योर कॉन्सेप्ट और यू कॉल इट द कोर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रेशियो प्रोपोर्शन एंड टिपिकल डी आई सेट लेट्स रीड इट एंड सॉल्व ट्रोनामी इंक इज अ कॉन्ग्लोमरेट कॉम्प्राइजिंग फाइव कंपनीज एच टी ए एफ बी द टोटल कॉस्ट इनकर्ड बाई ईच ऑफ द फाइव कंपनीज इन एनी ईयर कैन बी डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री कॉम्पोनेंट्स दैट इज ऑपरेटिंग कॉस्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव कॉस्ट एंड फिनेंस कॉस्ट The first pie chart given below provides for the year 2017 the operating cost of each company as a percentage of total operating cost of the five companies while the second and the third pie chart provide the similar percentage breakups of the administrative cost and the finance cost respectively for 2017 so this pie chart is very simple so this is the breakage or breakup of all the uh, five companies for operating cost administrative cost and finance finance cost so in the pie chart below each company is represented by either, uh, or represented by the first letter of its name okay h t a b f a whatever it is it is also known that the total cost was the same okay uh, for exactly three companies of the five companies so total cost total cost is nothing but uh, the summation of all these three cost and the total cost of exactly three of exactly three of the five companies are same fine <clears throat> so we have five companies three companies will have exactly same total cost now out of these five companies uh, we need to find first which would be those five companies uh, or which would be those three companies sorry uh, that will have the same uh, total cost right which is mentioned over here now just by the basic observation of the spy chart we can see that uh, for company f which is yellow in color it has larger percentage in each of these uh, cost and if it has a larger percentage in everywhere so 28 is the highest in this operating cost 30 is highest in this administrative cost and again 25 is not the highest but yes the highest but some other even have it but this is the highest in everywhere so this would not be the company uh, which would be having or it would be one of these companies out of the three companies which will have exactly same total cost so this makes or we can take f out out of this <coughs> three companies so we are just left with four company and out of this four companies we can have or if we need to select three companies so 4c3 combination and that is nothing but again four now let's observe further now just by just observing this pie chart what i can say is that if i look for b and h co combination or just compare these two companies in all the cases if you look into b and h so if let's suppose b and h are two companies which have the same operating cost actually there are three companies but we need to see if b and h can be a pair in this three companies or not so if i look into b and h b and h are same operating cost so this will not make any difference over here b and h h has a greater cost for the administrative cost again for the finance cost h has greater than the b so definitely b and h can never have uh, the same uh, total cost right now further just by observing the you know the pie charts as we have been doing it uh, we can see that if we just compare b and a if we compare b and a no if we compare h and a if we compare h and a in all these three cases in all of these uh, cases uh, administrative cost operating cost and finance cost h and a we can see that h has a greater percentage than a again in this h has a greater percentage than a h has a greater percentage than a so h and a can never be a pair in one of the three companies which have exactly same total cost so h cannot have a pair with b h cannot pair with a so if we were having four companies f was originally uh, removed so we were having four companies that were b h t a and out of this four companies we have to remove one company and three company would be of equal uh, total cost and we can see that h 
is cannot pair with b h cannot pair with a so definitely this makes sense or this makes it very clear and not sense in fact this makes it very clear that h would definitely not be the company which will be having equal cost or it will not be one of the company out of these three companies which have the equal cost so the company which have equal cost or the equal total cost is b t and a f and h would be having the different costs fine so just by observation without any calculation you can definitely make this out and if we have done this uh, everything is just very simple so let me erase this and let's solve further now as of now we know that uh, the bta will have the total cost same now we have three charts and we have three equations and we can find it out so let's suppose the total operating cost over here is 100x and over here it is 100y and here it is 100z for ease of calculation now they have this three companies have equal cost so we can say that b equals to t okay when b equals to t we can say that b minus t to have or make our calculation simpler b minus t equals to 0 now let's suppose we just are focusing on b and t so 25x and minus 10x so that will give us 15x let's sum this up again uh, let's put, uh, do it for the administrative cost 10y and 25y so 10y minus 25y will make it to 15y so that is minus 15y and again over here 20z and again b and t so 10 uh, z so that makes it to 10 z that equals to 0 b minus t equals to 0 so we can simplify it uh, further uh, we can write it as 3x plus 2z equals to uh, 3y so we got one equation actually we have three variables we need to get three equation that's all that's how we need to solve so b and t we got this equation and now uh, we can also equate b and a b and a so b equals to a we can write b minus b minus a equal to 0 and again 25 minus 12x 25x minus 12x that makes it to 13x again b over here 10 y and a so that makes 15 y so that will make it to 5 minus 5 y and this is 20 z and a is 20 z so that is 0 so this equals so this makes it easier that 13 x it directly gives a relation between x and y 13 x equals to 5 y so this is a good equation now uh, out of these three pairs what we are left with t equal to a t equals to a let's equate that let's do that uh, t minus a if we take t minus a equals to 0 so this would be minus 2x t in it minus 2x t minus a so this is uh, 10y okay and again over here we'll get t minus a so minus 10z minus 10 z equals to 0 5 y equals to 5 z plus 5 z plus x that's it so this is our equation and this is a simpler equation i have something as 5 y and 13 x so if i put 5 y from here to this can i get a relation so this will make it to 5 y equals to 13 x so that will make it to 12x because 13x and this x minus that will get 12x equals to 5z so we know the relation 12x equals to 5z so we know the relation between x y and z so we do not know any equation or that's all we know the relation between y x and z that's all we needed now let's see if we can solve some of the questions the first question is for how many companies the finance cost as a percentage of total cost greater than 39%? So, okay. So, we need to find the total cost for each of the company. Let's do that fast. We have F, uh, we have H, and we have three companies which will have the total cost same. That is BTA, they'll have the same total cost. So, let's express everything in terms of X because that are uh, that is what we are used to. So, if we write for F, that would be nothing but 28x 
Now here it is a 30y. 30y means we are multiplying it by 6. So this would be 13 into 6. 13 into 6 is nothing but 78x. Because everything we are writing in terms of x. Uh, over here for f it is 25z. 25z means multiplying 5 times over here. So that makes it to 60x. Now let's quickly find the sum. Okay. So 75, 28. This will make it to 100 and 6 and 166x the total cost is 100 and or 166x for f let's calculate for h for h it is 25x plus over here this is 20y 20y means we'll multiply it by 4 on both the sides so that will give it 52x plus plus this is 25z 25z means just multiplying by 5 times so that makes it to 60x so how much does it make it to 52, 25, 60, 60 plus 50 is 110, 110 plus 20, okay, so 137x. Now for all of these three, uh, the total sum or the total cost would be same. Let's do it for B. So for B, it is 25x. Over here, it is 10y. 10y means 26x. And again, B, that is 20Z. 20Z means multiplying by 4 times, that is 48X. Now, quickly, this is uh, 51, 48, so that makes it to 99X. Now, at this point of time, you can cross-check it. If you if you do it for T, you'll also get 99X. So, there's a cross-check at this set, right? You can not make any further mistakes. Now let's try to answer the question uh, for how many of the company the finance cost finance cost is over here which is greater than 39 percent so for h the finance cost is how much 25 z 25 z is nothing but multiplying it five both the times uh, on both the sides 60 60 x and what is the total cost 60 upon 137 so 60 upon 137 is it less than uh, 39% or more than 39% now we do not need calculator for this never do that uh, so in denominator we have 137 we can take it as 140 so if we take it as 140 the 10% of it would be 14 and roughly 40% so 14 into 4 that is 56 so this 40% is 56 and again this is greater than 56 60 and this number is less so definitely this is greater than so we'll count h this is greater than 39% for t T it is 10z and 10z means how much twice so 24x 24x upon 99 so this is definitely less so we'll not count t uh, let's see this a this is 20 20 so it is nothing but 48x as we have seen that was 24 so 48x is definitely more than so we'll 39 percent of 99 so 25 again uh, f okay this is f 25y so 25z 25z over here 25z means we have to multiply it by 5 times so 60 60x upon 166 so is this greater than 39 percent again doing like this this is 160 so we'll do it 170 and okay so this is not greater than uh 39 percent so we'll not count this let's check for b for b it is 20 z 20 z again means just multiplying by 4 that is 20 48x okay this happened so this 48x and this is greater so altogether we have three companies h a and b that will be have greater so answer is c so everything is so very easy it's just the basic calculation now so hold of the point of solving this set is to how to find the three companies which have equal absolute uh, or the total value right now everything is easy let's do it fast question two is for how many of the five companies the finance cost that is greater than the operating cost of famines okay operating cost of famines so that is nothing but 28x so we need to see for how many companies this finance cost is greater than 28x so h equals to 25z and we can see that there's a big difference so definitely we'll count h 10z 10z means 24x so we'll not count t uh, 20z 20z means we need to multiply it by 4 times so 48 which is greater than 28 so we'll count this 
again this would definitely be the one of the company and again this so four companies that's so very easy to answer now question three is what is the ratio of administrative cost of famines administrative cost of famines is nothing but 30y 30y we can write in terms of x 30y so we have to multiply it by 6 so that is nothing but 78x to the operating cost of uh, hurry case that is so very simple that is uh, 25x so, so this is 3 point we'll get xx cancel 3.1 and then we'll get 5 3.12 that's all now again question 4 if the administrative cost of a is 29.25 administrative cost of a so where is a this is 15 y if we are writing every time everything in terms of x so that is nothing but multiplying it three times so 39 x equals to 29.25 what do we need to find we need to find the value what is the operating cost of famines operate that we need to find the value of 28x that's so very simple so sorry this is not x this is lakhs so this is nothing but uh, 29.25 by 39 into 28 so this all are divisible by 3 so 13 3 says so 9 22 7 9 point 7 and again 5 and I can see that this is again divisible so that is 0. 0.75 okay 0. 0.75 into 28 that makes it to 21 lakhs that's it so solving all the questions is very easy once we are able to figure it out the ratio of or the ratio of uh, operating cost to administrative cost and finance cost the relation between x y and z that's it hope you have understood it thank you